there, it's Sylvia Dana with EXP Realty in West Michigan. And here I am, it's a Sunday morning, drinking my coffee. And I needed to do this quick little video because I needed to tell you something super important about making your KV core functional. And I might sneeze in a minute and I apologize. Okay, I'm gonna take a little sip of coffee. All right, I'm logged into another person's KV core website. And I have discovered this week that KV Core has released a new feature, and it's an important one, and it needed to be done a long time ago, <laughs> but it's done now. What you're going to do is you're going to go into your own KV Core dashboard, and you're going to go to your profile. The way that you do that is you go to the top right-hand side here and click the drop-down and go to My Profile. The first thing that you want to make sure you do, this has been here and you sh hopefully have done this if, if you haven't, is add yourself a signature. So what you do on your profile is you make sure to include a signature. So we've included one here for Deborah. You don't have to have a fancy one like this with a picture and everything, just your name, your title, your website, your phone number, and that's it. EXP Realty, whatever, whatever your brokerage is. Okay. And just make sure you have a signature there. Once you know you have a signature there, the next thing to do is uh, activating this little toggle. That's the new feature. So click include signature on all outgoing mail. Let me tell you why this is important and what has been happening until now. So there are some default email templates that you have, might have been using for system campaigns like default buyer campaigns, default seller campaigns. And those are great, they work fine. And we've been using them in my setups. We've been using some default campaigns and then we do custom campaigns as well. But um, in the default campaigns, in most of the emails, there is no signature automatically attached for whatever reason. So um, what's been happening is a lot of these default emails that go out don't have signatures. Well, now if you check this little toggle, all of your email will have signatures. In addition, if you've already put in signatures into your default kind of emails or regular emails, if you've put signatures either with, with a merge tag um, or you created a template and made sure to add the signature with a signature toggle. What's great is the system won't duplicate the signature. So if you have this selected, you're not going to get two signatures. So let me show you what I'm talking about. If I go here to Marketing Autopilot, and I go to Start a Campaign, I'm going to show you here is um, some of the campaigns we set up, but there's this default seller campaign, for example. And in one of these, um, let's look, let's find one of these type kind of common or system type emails. Um, we're gonna find one. So what we have to do is go here to templates And I am going to try to look up sell or refi. Let's see if I can find it. Sell or refi, here it, is. here it is. Now, you'll notice I can't, I can clone this, but I can't um, do anything. I can't edit it from here. So from here, I wouldn't be able to just include a signature and then save it. I have to include the signature. So I'd have to move this little box, include signature, and then clone the template and then save it as something else and then add it to the previous campaign and replace it with the old, replace the old template with this new one now that it has a saved signature. As might be complicated for some of you, but that's what you would have had to do before to make sure that there was a signature attached. But now, all you have to do is use that new little toggle, okay? Now, let me show you something else. So if you created your own 
email template. Like this is one of the email templates we create for people that we do setups for. We've made sure the in signature was already included. Okay. Um, in addition, if you were to create a email using the advanced email editor, or really even the basic one, there's what's called a merge tag. And I'm going to show you that to you. So whether I'm in the basic editor or the advanced email editor, there's what's called a merge tag. A merge tag is something that's going to merge data. So um, let's say I want to make sure I have added my agent signature to a template. Another way to do it besides using that toggle is to go here to merge tags and find um, agent signature. Okay. And so there it is. So no matter what, if you've created your own tab templates, email templates, and already turned on the toggle that says include signature or included your um, uh, merge tag that says agent signature, if you've done that, it's okay. If you select that toggle that says include my signature on all emails, What's beautiful is it will not duplicate. I did test it and I double checked with um, KB Cortex support to ask them if I was correct. And they said, yes, it should not duplicate. So that's fun. I just want to make sure that you knew that. And, and if you haven't done this yet, this feature was just released this week. Go ahead and check your profile and turn that little baby on and you'll be good to go because you do want your signature attached to these emails. <laughs> You want people to know who is sending an email to them. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Have a great day. Bye.